charge of Napoli, as of course Ancelotti was back in the day. So there are a few connections and plenty of famous faces. And Modric all missing in midfield. Vinicius Jr. was hurt playing for Brazil, so even more. The key striker, Victor Osimhen, made his return after a hamstring injury and set up the winner. Get ready for match day five in this group. Cristiano Di Stefano with 14 goals. What, what a fantastic thing to have to, to, to have done already as such a young man at the club. It's a nice weaving run across the pitch by Danny Sabas and Rodrigo, who likes to come in from the left. He's trying to wind up for the shot here. Rodrigo stuck out a leg. Georgian is on again, and that's a fine ball to Di Lorenzo and Simeone. Surely knocked it over the line. It's a goal. Napoli take the lead in the tenth minute. Pounces when he needed to. Great ball in here, and I just wondered if Di Lorenzo could have went for goal. He doesn't. He looks for a teammate, puts it back across into a dangerous area, and his striker, as all good strikers do, arriving at the right time to the best way I can describe it. He's bundled it home as the Real Madrid keeper. Looning does. He's up most to keep it out, but Napoli 1-0, and we didn't see that one coming. Well, he didn't actually hit the back of the net, but you just have to get it over the line. <laughs> I don't think we'll remember that in years to come. <laughs> and here come Real looking to hit back straight away. With Raheem Diaz and Rodrigo. Oh, oh! That is the way to hit back straight away. And that is his signature goal. What a response, but he's on a very rich run of form. Well, this is incredible, they get the ball back here and... Right away, it's forward thinking, can we get forward? Diaz plays it to Rodrigo, who has only had one thing in his mind, he cut in on that right foot and he's looking for that far corner. And boy, he couldn't have placed it any better, what a fantastic comeback. Leaves the goalkeeper with absolutely no chance and... Madrid right back in this game, what a fantastic opening section to this game and with Covid thrown things out of sync a little bit with national competitions just the the catch-up I think it's just taking its toll on the players at the moment Sabayas hasn't played as many games as he would want and it's the, the real top players who are the demand is and Bellingham he's done it again what an incredible arrival at this famous football club is being achieved by Jude Bellingham. Well, we spoke about his now of knowing when to go, and he just dips, makes that run, and it's a brilliant ball from Alaba. It's all about the ball, in all fairness, and Jude Bellingham just meets it. He just has to redirect this header. But once upon a time, Ronaldo's celebration was iconic in the Bernabeu, but this celebration of Jude Bellingham is becoming just as iconic. Bellingham's path, and from that point on, it's just concentration. Here's uh, Simeone. To uh, restore some parity here, it's gone out. When you see Real playing the way they are, and being so deadly, you wonder how good they'll look when those players are back. It is quite a scary prospect. Work from Baricelia, asking for handball. But uh, we're in the wake of Rodrigo again. Brahim Diaz is in the middle. Rodrigo finds him. And he's just dragged it wide. But that's the problem, the transitions, the turnovers. It's hard to make challenges under the laws of the game now. You can quickly get yourself into trouble with referees. But you know, it's, a, it's a bit too simple from yes. a Napoli point of view. Then you've got to be able to play. <laughs> Waiting in the middle. Zielinski's deflected onto the roof of the net. We talk about Danny Carver having an attacking right back, but the Napoli equivalent has uh, played a part. He set up an opening goal. On Gisa. William stopped in his tracks for the second time already in this second half. 
Here's Di Lorenzo. For Anguista in space. Goes again, and he fires it into the back of the net. He might have shot the first time when he crossed it, but it came back his way, and he took on the responsibility. And it's Real Madrid 2, Napoli 2. And Napoli have started this second half as they started the first. Gisa here, first of all, looks for a teammate, comes back to him. Decides just to have a slasher it, have a shot. Manages to find its way into the back of the net, but brilliant start from Napoli. Right back in this game, Ottiman on the field. And they're looking to try and reverse that score from the reverse fixture of 3-2. Try and take three points out of this game. And it would be the first time a Napoli team have ever beaten Real Madrid. Now Cross. Another card for Zielinski. He's an interesting character. He's come back to Real Madrid. He's on loan from Espanyol. Sick bed for a few days. That has some impact on the physiology that leads to cramp. Plenty of people listening have a better grasp of that than I have, but he's uh, in a bit of distress at the moment. Cross. Now Valverde. Can they come again, Real Madrid? Fell on Mendy. That's a great ball. Oh, and Jose Lu at the back post. A little surprised it got to him. Yeah, Bellingham found this ball out to Mendy and he put it right in that corridor of uncertainty for defenders, but opportunity for strikers. And I think you're right when that ball bounces up off the turf. Jose Lu doesn't expect it and it fortunately for the Real Madrid man, it's just a, a bad angle. Can't quite get his head down to it or his foot up to it. Pablo was a full international, was in the, the Argentina World Cup squad at France. Politano making space where there seemed to be none. Ossiman fires it in. And then sees the flag go up. It will be checked, of course. Unless, uh... Again, he just tries to poke this ball through, but Ossiman's gone too early, way too early. Three yards offside, really easy decision. Both sides now, I think, respectful of the attacking capabilities of the opposition. It's a much lower block for Napoli, but siding through it was uh, Ferri Valverde. 100% free kick. And the booking, I would have thought as well. Here's the corner for Real Madrid. Collected by Valverde. Bellingham, looking to make something happen again. It's a brilliant cross, Rudiger. How did that not go in? Set up by Bellingham. Great. Brilliant by Bellingham, though, lifts this up, perfect ball, and it's Rudiger who climbs the highest back across the goalkeeper, as you're always taught to do. Not too much power on the header. Good save, and from that point on, Hosloo overhead kick, Alaba can't quite get those hips over. Keep the ball down, and... Napoli live to fight another day here at the Bernabeu. He did well, Alex Merritt, because he... Can't help but feel as we're ticking towards the end of this game, it's Real Madrid who look a little bit more composed in this situation. Rodrigo from the right. Uh, the goalkeeper's there. Also, there is a, another overhead attempt from a Real player. Well, if they don't win this game, I'm sure that their manager, Carlo Ancelotti, will be looking at one man in that changing room. As Hosselu has had it couple of very good opportunities that one probably a little bit more difficult shows his acrobatical ability can't quite keep that ball up the two Mario Rui and uh, Matthias Oliveira are out injured well, that's a pinpoint ball for Bellingham can he do it again goalkeeper's legs there Hosselu it's another chance for the substitute Rudiger steps upfield they sense Real Madrid. This is uh, pressure. Could get them back in front. Nico Paz. Oh, he scored! What a moment! Look at that face. Disbelief, delight. 
He's uh, stolen the show from Bellingham for the moment. He said that Real Madrid were on top and that pressure was building and it's come from Nico Paz. And you've got to look at the Napoli goalkeeper. It's a shot, a long range shot on target. Yes, he does skip up just in front of Merritt, but he's got to do better. Got to do better than Napoli goalkeeper, but that doesn't affect Nico Paz. As you can see, he wheels away and what a brilliant moment for the young man and his family. His first Real Madrid goal, and you can see the disbelief, the surprise on his place as he on his face as he wheels away. What a brilliant moment in that young man's life. With the outswinging corner. Oh, it, uh, nearly fell Napoli's way. But here goes the speedster Rodrigo. But I'm sure that Real Madrid, the medical staff, the manager will be holding their breath as to what is wrong as well. I'm sure that one teammate that will be thanking Nico Pass will be Hosselu for a couple of glaring opportunities to put Real Madrid in front. It's the young man that's stolen the show. Confirmation of the substitutions. Hosselu lurking on the left. Bellingham trying to play him through. And Hosselu finished this now. Oh. Just not been his half, has it? Oh, there was a lack of killer instinct in that shot there from Hosselu. How about Shelia? Clever pass by Angisa into Kayusta, who goes down and dives. The last 20 minutes, because it's an exercise in fitness and concentration for the officials, we tend to forget that sometimes. So the players get a little bit uh, leggy, if you like, towards the end of the game. Mentally, maybe that helps the referees as well. It's just over. From uh, Raspadori. Here's the big moment for the young man. Armani coming forward. Elmas. And towards uh, Ossimen. Police by Rudiger. Here's Lucas Vasquez. And there's another raid on for Real Madrid here. Five against three. Nacho. Bellingham. Trying to set it up in the end. And he's finally bagged one. Hosselu, to his great relief, has absolutely settled the winning of the group, winning of the match. And Napoli with, with all their best efforts. He looks a little bit embarrassed almost to celebrate because he knows he's missed a host of chances, but he's kept going. Brilliant ball across here by Bellingham, outside of his right boot, just in that corridor, and this time Oslo can't miss. Can see the goalkeeper, can see the goal as he approaches this ball. Gets good purchase on it, hard on target. And eventually, at the fourth chance of asking, Gets his goal. Are you saying four? Is it not more? <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe me being very generous. Very generous. But there's an old saying about strikers: never be afraid to miss. Looking at the scoreline, who haven't seen the game, thinking, well, it's pretty routine. It's not been that at all. Napoli have made a good fist of it. Credit to Walter Mazzari. They scored first, and they scored first in the second half.